All right, so I'm gonna show how to change the BIOS settings on this Acer Aspire 5. It says model number N19C3, but the actual model number is this A515-43-R19L. All right, so first thing we wanna do is turn it on. All right, so obviously press the power button, but you gotta be ready because you have to do this quick. So press the power button and then hold the function key and keep pressing F2, all right? So just keep pressing F2. If it doesn't work, like you see right now, you might have to restart the computer and then do it again. So let's wait for that to go, and then we'll do it again. All right, so this started up. We're gonna go in here. We're gonna go to restart, and restart anyway, if, anyways if that pops up. Immediately hold the function key and just keep pressing F2. Okay, you don't have to wait till it turns off. Okay, just keep pressing F2 holding the function key, and there we go, we got the BIOS. As you can see, okay, if you go to like security, a lot of this stuff is grayed out, you can't turn off secure boot or anything. All right, so what you gotta do is you gotta set up a supervisor password. So go into there, press enter, you can put whatever you want, but make sure you don't forget it. Okay, put something simple. I just put password, so I'm gonna remove it later, but that's what I do to make it easy to remember continue and now you can see we have access to all these settings now okay we're not going to change any of this but now if we go to boot you can see we have the option to enable or disable secure boot okay and the reason we need to do that is because we're going to boot from a non windows um, usb and since it doesn't have the windows signature or whatever you call it that blocks it um, then we wouldn't be able to boot it unless we disabled secure boot all right, so now that we've done that, we're gonna exit saving changes. Yes, the computer's gonna restart itself. Let me plug in the USB real quick and then we'll try and boot from it. All right, so again, same thing. We're gonna restart the computer, restart anyways, hold the function key and then keep pressing F2. I was trying to find um, the shortcut to boot from, what do you call, like a temporary boot device, but it doesn't work. Usually it's F12, um, but I don't know, it wasn't working. So we're gonna just go back into the BIOS and then do it manually, okay? So, oh, it wants the password again. So again, you have to make sure you remember the password. Now that we got there, we can go into boot and you can see the other device. So I'm gonna have to move this to the top. So the way you do that, you can see it says F5 or F6 to change values. So you press F5 or F6 to change it. And you can see after pressing F6, it moved it to the top. We're gonna go to exit, save changes again, and exit, save changes. And then now it should boot from my external USB. Uh, once you're done with that, you want to change the setting back. You don't have to, but it's a good idea to do that. So that way other people don't just plug in stuff and change your settings. Um, or you can just leave it. But again, you want to remember your password if you're going to do that, because then if you ever need to change the settings again, you're going to be locked out of the BIOS. So there you go. It's booting my external USB device. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. Um, and yeah, <laughs> sorry, my brain is like, <laughs> but yeah, share the channel, uh, like, comment, subscribe, right? And if it helped you save a bunch of money, uh, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living, right? If you can't help out that way, it would help a lot. If you could watch a few of my other videos and then like and comment on those as well, because that's what the algorithm likes to see. I also have another channel called It's Been Repa oh, Sorry, It's Been Reviewed and More. Um, if you could subscribe to that one, it would help a lot. I need to get to a thousand subscribers on there. It's currently at a little over 500. So yeah, anyways, that's pretty much it. You can boot from whatever now, Linux or whatever you want to boot. And I'll see you all in the next one.